Hello, welcome to Melbourne Highlander League number two. Yep. This is the first ever round of this league. Um, commentating with Carl Eyre. Hey everybody. We didn't actually play each other. I played against Isaac for my first round. Um, and we're about to commentate now, so I won't spoil it. Uh, so how many players for this league? 40. I think someone might have dropped. Yeah. Well, it's like more than last time, I think. I, th I think it's about the same. Okay. I think it was 40. Yeah. But it should be sweet. Uh, you know, second time running, it'll be a bit smoother. Different people. Different people. At um, least like 15 new people. I yeah. Think. So we'll get a sweet. bit of variety, which is good. Yep. Um, some easy beats? No, no. <laughs> <laughs> Um, all right, let's get straight into the deck techs for for this round. We'll go to Isaac's deck first. I mean, you've all seen this deck before. I'm pretty sure Isaac's been playing it for long enough, and I've done this deck tech twice already. So I'm just going to put a link in the comments below, and you can click on that if you want to see the deck tech. Basically, he's playing Flash and Birthing Pod and elf base yeah elf base and cl skull clamp to eat yeah. all these dudes yeah you um, watch watch the video yeah yeah all right so let's move on to my deck uh, i was playing mono red i thought i'd mix it up it's centralized around the non-basic hate there's a lot of ways you can actually go with mono red you can go all out burn you can go like glenn shanley style with land kill for control and non-basics for card advantage but this is based around non-basic hate. So I've got Blood Moon, Ruination, Mags of the Moon. Ruination's that one there. You got it? It's not loading? That sucks. There you go. Four mana destroy non-basic lands. And you notice I'm going pretty hardcore. No non-basic lands of my own. Just uh, 23 of these bad boys. Uh, there's snow because I play Scred. <laughs> Scred's a cool little... Uh, Flame Slash. Yeah. It's just really good Flame Slash. It's, it's awesome. You can kill a Goyf for one mana, which is cool. And the other non-basic hate I'm playing is Price of Progress. Everyone knows that card, it's excellent. Oh, there it is. Yeah, you can just, and because I'm not playing any non-basics myself, I can actually use it to race against fellow aggro decks, which is not normally the case. Like, you, you yeah. play Zoo. Yeah. Do you even play Price in your main? Yeah, I do actually. Okay, all right. Um, but you'll take like eight from it when you cast it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but they're not like pressuring me because I've lost eight life already. Yeah. Um, it generally just catches people. Yeah. Alright, so I'll run through my creature choices. Alright, so because I'm monocolored, my creature quality is pretty low. Like, you're playing Zoo, you yeah. get one mana for a 2-3, and I get one mana for a 2-1 in this guy. Or, and a Frostling. <laughs> or, I'd like, Frostling and Mog Fanatic, I play those. Like, uh, Green Elves are very popular. So, yeah. you know, he's alright, and you can clamp them. Yeah, you, you can't have elves around if you're playing a moon deck. Really. Yeah, true. So I have to kill any elf I see, pretty much, if I want um, my moons to be, be at full value. But you've got more burn spells than they have. Yeah, I play plenty of elves, burn. I reckon. Yeah. You'll notice that all my burn is instant speed. I am a huge advocate of instant speed burn over sorcery speed. Like, I would never play chain lightning. Just Mag magma spray? Just, like, issues? With recurring dudes? Uh, um, yeah, it's it kills lots of things. Uh, there's Voice of Resurgence, Kitchen Finks. What else is there? Stranger of Geist. Stranger of Geist is a big one, yeah. Yeah. Uh, I feel like there's more. Even like Hermit Druid, you can get that permanently removed. Yeah, yeah. That, that'll right like almost win you a game, just there. Yeah. Um. <clears throat> so if you're playing red and you want a good burn spell, I recommend Magma Spray. Uh, but back on the Sorcery Speed thing, you don't want Sorcery Speed because all the equipment. equipment. Yeah. And like haste is a thing. It's mostly because of the equipment. Yeah, um, yeah, the blue decks will flash in stuff during combat. Yeah, um, exactly. It's also important to be able to block, get that stuff out of the way. Yeah. That way you're not stuck with burn spells whilst all your creatures die and all your pressure drops off. Yeah, yeah. And two drops. I've got some first strikers in Blood Knight and Ash Zealot. They're good with equipment and against Jude. So keep first strike in mind when you're building your deck. And all right, let's move on to my sideboard. We're going a bit long with this. So I've got some cheap artifact hate in Overload and Smelt. That's a good one. Yeah. Pulverize. Yeah. Pulverize is sweet Pulverize. as well. Being able to Burning Wish for it is definitely... Yeah, one of the... Where is Pulverize? Pink Elephants on Parade. There it is. Yeah. So, basically, that's just to kill Sphinx of the Steel Wind. 
Because fuck that card. Yeah. Yeah. You, you need an answer. Yeah. Um, um, just like sometimes you'll be able to randomly just hit two artifacts and get sweet value out of it as well. Yeah. But I have to sack two mountains, which is huge. Is it? Is it sh- surely you get to like eight lands fairly regularly. Um, yeah, I, like yeah. I've got lots of burn, the games can go pretty long. Yeah. Yeah. Like, if, they, if they've got two equipment out, the game's probably in the position where you can sack your lands. Yeah, that'll be a game-winning play. Yeah. yeah. Um, I've also had a Thopter Sword opponent have the combo <laughs> out, and they had like eight Thopters, and they're just like, yeah, yeah, yeah. and I was like, pulverized, yeah. bitch. Or if you yeah. reverse one of those tribal artifact decks, you just win whenever you play. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, Icy Manipulator is uh, another concession to Sphinx's of the Steelwind and just like Tarmogoyf, which is a huge problem for this deck, which yeah. is pretty bad. You used to be playing honest. Brutal Effigy, if I recall. I did, yeah. yeah. I used to, I cut it. Um, this, deck's, this deck's a bit underpowered, but it's. I have to hope that I draw my non basic hate. That's the plan. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I'm only playing five points as so, well. So I guess that's why you're playing cards like Faithless Looting. Yeah, so I can dig for my non basic. Yeah. And also, if I play against, like, Mono Blue Tinker, I can discard my Blood Moons. Yeah. And also, if I flood on lands, because my, my highest cost card is four. Yeah. Yeah. All right, let's move on to the games, eh? I reckon. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> All right, so game one, uh, we're playing it just in my land room. The We're playing it at night, and we've got, a, like, a really dim light bulb. But light is okay. <laughs> you should be able to see the cards fine. So here's some misplays with when you're looking at their lands. <laughs> yeah. Um, you had mana for that? I thought they were all swamps. No, I mean from <laughs> our perspective. Like sure. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, me and Isaac, he came around to mine graciously, even though I live all the way out in Box Hill. Um, Alright, let's get going. We're just cutting the decks here. I uh, pre-recorded the opening hands. So my opening hand for this game was... Four snow covered mountains. Once again, I'm playing snow covered mountains for Scred. And I've got three guys I've got Jackal Pop, Fire Drinker Seda, and Phyrexian Revoker. You've got a good curve. Um, you've got someone to do up until turn three. Yeah. And you'll be using all your mana every turn. Yeah. So I've won the roll and gone first. I didn't record Isaac's opening hand, but you should be able to see a bit of a few of the cards in his hand now. Even though they're all pimp and foil. <laughs> Have you ever tried to pimp a deck? I suppose your yeah, Zudex pretty pimp. Zudex, like, yeah. at least like 20 other cards of foil, I think. Yeah, at least a bunch, 20. A bunch of lands. <laughs> yeah. Um, so there's foil fetches yeah. worth a billion dollars. So if I draw another mountain there, so still... I might run out of threats if I don't draw more threats. Yep. So I Interesting that he trades. He's happy to trade that death right. Um, yeah. <laughs> I mean, like... That's interesting. I guess he has heaps of lands and nothing to do. Or maybe he's holding a flash. Or he hasn't got a fetch land. I can yeah. see the underground sea there. Academy Rector. So if he gets the four mana, I pretty much won't be able to attack into his creatures. Green Sun Zenith. That's going to get another mana guy. Probably Noble Hierarch or Birds. Which is going to get Frexian Revoker. So yeah. that's pretty good for me. If, if he gets a Noble, <laughs> it's really good. <laughs> um, just one of, the, one of the elves with no power. Yeah, you got e- exactly. Yeah. So I, I chose you're not pretty to play. much two for one in with it yeah. now. I didn't play Revoker on turn two because I was hoping to get the activated ability card. Yeah. Yeah. Even though it was less mana efficient. You're pretty lucky that he didn't have a fetch. Because he wouldn't have traded with the death right. No, he he, he definitely wanted to trade with the death yeah. right. Yeah. You know, Green Sun Zenith technically shuffles the deck twice or searches the deck twice. You shuffle before you look for it, or. Well, you shuffle when you look for it, and you shuffle when it when you shuffle back in. So if you have a card like yeah, Cybergenic really? Probe, it'll trigger twice. Or, yeah. That's so, weird. Yeah, it's something to keep in mind, you never know. He's drawn his Green Sun Zenith again? Is that what happened? Yep. Yeah. He drew it straight off the top. Wow. Nice cut. <laughs> Did I even cut it, though? I can't remember. Oh. We should rewind and yeah. check. <laughs> I've got, so I've drawn the, he, he just kept it in his uh, hand maybe so Isaac's got clamp so he's got gas forever he gets the clamp away his useless bird yeah this is a real bad spot he just used his Frexian and Roker and is holding mountains and cargo and dragon Lord. so then he reveals that he's just drawn it he's going to get a dry over here I've drawn a cargo and dragon Lord my last turn so I've got a bit of gas ruination okay that's game over I just cast that here and he's dead yeah 
<laughs> Isaac has no lands left, right? Correct. Yeah. Yeah. Including his dried armor. Okay, well, that shows you the power of the deck, really. I mean, like I said in the deck tech, I'm, I'm relying on drawing it on basic hate. And if I don't draw it, then I probably lose. Yeah, especially in this matchup, I guess. Yeah. Um. <clears throat> yeah. You're always like one turn away from death. I think you, Isaac you plays know, one really. basic land, just the basic forest, that's it. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Little Mog Fanatic, a nice Tempest one. Yeah, Isaac <laughs> be feeling pretty bad right now. Yeah, oh, he's dead. Like, only way you can feasibly get out of it is he draws his basic. Okay, he's scooping. He it, it drew a land, but it, it, was, yeah. it was way too late. Mm. So I'm saying that I'm relying on drawing my non-basic hate. I should just play the traditional blue-red lists and with all the card draw to tutor for the non-basic hate. Yeah, or to dig, <clears throat> not yeah. so much tutor. Yeah. But, but yeah. Or I could play maybe like a black red deck with a uh, demonic tutor. Or you could just play like green red and play like elves. Yeah. Into blood moon effects. <clears throat> but the issue is drawing the blood moon. Drawing the blood moon. Yeah. yeah. I was thinking of making a ma Naya deck. I built one last night. <laughs> yeah, like centered around blood moon. Yeah. 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 Um, yeah, just like elves into. Blood Moon effects, totally blood moon, yeah. and you also get like the whole equipment package, which yeah. makes it sweet. Yeah. You just play like heaps of swords. <laughs> <clears throat> All right, so here's uh, how I sideboarded for game two. Uh, I must admit, I sideboarded poorly. I've I've brought in a bunch of cheap, narrow, like answers to very specific card types. Like for example, he's got a graveyard combo deck. And I've brought yep. in Fairy Macabre and Surgical Extraction. Yeah, G generally that'd be good. But um, Isaac's deck is sort of weird. It's in this middle spot where it does it, it has multiple options, and can just choose what's suiting it at the time. Yeah. So. Um, at least the good thing about the ones you brought in is they're not on board. So yeah. he, he gets to play into everything still. Yeah, he could go for the flash, um, or whatever. Unless he sees my hand with like a yeah. thought seize or. I probably wouldn't have taken out your one drops though. No, they're my you, clock. Yeah. They're your clock, and that's how. That's really how you're going to win this matchup. Yeah. I think I took those out because I figured he's playing Kitchen Finks and Elves. They can just trade with my guys, but. Yeah. But I mean. Like, I'm, even I'm pretty young, happy with. Like, young Pyromancer is just like value. Yeah. Um, and it's one of the ways you can beat him, I think. Yeah. I, was more, like, I wasn't that disappointed with what I bought it out. I was more disappointed with what I brought in. Flame like, Slash is a bit. Crummy. Yeah, like I said, he can still go clamp. Yeah. Not, and then flame slash sucks, or sort of fire and ice, which all, he has in his main All deck. his big dudes are like extra value when they die and stuff. They're yeah. all like persist dudes. Yeah. Um, also, sorcery speed means you never get to dodge an equipment. Yeah. And Overlord and Smelt, only good if he has the equipment or the birthing pod. Yeah. Which is like, what, three cards in his deck? Uh, he plays Stoneforge Mystic. Yeah. That's one of the three cards. Oh, I suppose, yeah. Jude, Clamp, Stoneforge, Birthing Pod. Sword. Trinket Mage. Sword, which he sided out. Yeah, he does. Um, Controversially. I, I thought he would keep that in for sure. Yeah, yeah. I, I don't know what he was thinking. I, I, he was thinking that I burn all these guys so he has nothing to target. Yep. But I think the sheer power level of... Yeah, it's just like Mono Red can't do with Pro Red. Yeah. It's yeah. pretty much it. Yeah. Anyway, let's look at how Isaac sideboarded. So, he's taken out his Thoughtseize, because I'm pretty aggro. Yeah, you, you can't be paying two life to steal something from a mono red dex yeah. card. Their card quality is low, and if you're bolting yourself for them, or shocking yourself, yeah, you, you're really putting yourself behind. Yeah. Although you, you really want an elf, not Thoughtseize. It is one of his few answers to Blood Moon, though. <laughs> yep. So, like, he lost that first game to Ruination. And thought but answered. Thought Seas wouldn't have answered Ruination that game. Because I ripped it off the top. But yeah. <laughs> well done. Uh, recurring Nightmare he takes out. I suppose he figures I'm bringing in some Yard Hate, which I am. Yep, that, that's fair enough. Um, um, it's also very mana intensive when you might be color screwed. Yeah, and maybe he presumes I'm playing Wasteland to strip mine. Yep. Um, Sword of Fire and Ice. I, I disagree with him boarding that out, but I can see his logic. Yeah, um, yeah. Taking out the Avacyn's Pilgrims a bit iffy, 
If, yeah. he, if he's playing Blood Moon effects, he probably wants to keep his elves in. Yeah. Also, it just trades with one of my one-cost guys. Yeah. Which is good. Um, worked out for him, though. You took him out. I did, yeah. Yeah. So. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't block a Strongpoke Noble, which is pretty funny. Yeah. Uh, and he's brought in Side Prime Mage against Blood Moon. Yep. That's definitely a good choice. Yeah. And he knows I play Clamp and Phyrexian Roka and Jide. Yeah, you just got heaps <clears> of stuff. Yeah. Zealous Area. Persecution can sweep my cheap guys. Ooze is obviously great. Gains a bunch of life to get him out of burn range. And Path can just hit a big guy, I guess. And I can't really utilize the extra Just like up. perfect removal for any creature-based matchup. Yeah. I, I imagine he sides <laughs> it in a lot. Yeah. All right, that's how Isaac boarded. Uh, he's sipping a pineapple. Yeah. Okay, game two. This is my third try at this. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just going to show the actual Windows windows, but it, it, does, it does a job. So I'm at the top. That's my opening hand. I've drawn two of my cyborg cards, Smelt and Fairy Macabre. They're very narrow, like I was saying yeah. in the cyborg analysis. So, and I've got a real spell. Like He may not draw either artifact, graveyard, relevant things or creatures and then currently this hand doesn't have any weaknesses in it correct. which is something to note yeah uh, you could just play Mangra Spray past turn and hope you play as an oh yeah you're on the draw I am yeah yeah okay so this is pretty much idealistic I reckon except it doesn't have a moon effect correct yeah I could dig for it with the looting if I so choose yep. but yeah, hopefully I don't have to discard one of my smelt or fairy macabre and then he actually has the relevant target you know yeah I think I think you got plays for a couple of turns you won't need to do it till a bit later yeah that way you can see what plan is going to and ditch the one he's not going for I suppose yeah so Isaac's hand he's got just one land in this one it's a pretty freaking risky jeez and he's got death Rush shaman with no fetch land and he knows I'm mono so he whether he's considering it, it, it pretty or much he pretty much kept a one lander um He's on the play too. Yep. He he might just play the Inquisition to, to try and dodge the burn spells for his death rite, but that's gonna set him back a turn. Yeah. Potentially. Well his death rite's not gonna generate him mana, so But he he wants to put a Jide on it though. Yeah. So Um I d I don't know what he was thinking with this one. He's seen yeah, it's, it seems pretty loose. Like I suppose you can use Inquisition to remove my burn spell and if, then if put he draws, on a dude. If he draws a land, it's sweet. Um, mm. I suppose he thinks Jude is a win if he just draws one land. Yeah. Um, yeah. Anyway, all right. Let's see how we go. See how it unfolds. Yeah, he hasn't got the fatty for flash. Yep. But yeah. Anyway. And away we go. So Isaac's on the play. Uh, I'm predicting he's gonna overgrown tomb, Inquisition, try and hit at my burn spell, and then next turn he'll play his guy. That'd and, be a safer play. And then gives him a high chance of having a fetch the turn after he plays Death Rite. Yeah, that's true. And then he'll try and put Jude on his guy and would kill me. Let's see if I'm correct. Well, I've I've seen what happens, yeah. but I can't remember. This is like a week ago, so. Yeah. Right, overgrown tomb, take two. So if it works out perfectly for Isaac, he just draws land land. <laughs> so he leaves with death right, so he doesn't try and clear the way with Inquisition yet. Very direct. Alright, so I'm gonna play a land and I'm probably gonna just spray that death right shaman. I wanna do it in my turn so he can't crack the fetch land or untap and have I don't know, some kind of pump. <laughs> Not yeah. that, that deck would play pump. Exiled. Isaac draws. He's got drawn Lotus Cobra, so he hasn't got his land. Okay. So, so you're in a good spot right now. Alright, I've drawn Clamp since we last saw my hand. So he could take my only creature and turn off my clock. Or in what else? He's got in his hand he's got Jude, so maybe he takes the smelt. But that would reveal that he has yep. the Jude. <laughs> But you know, well, whatever he takes reveals that he has. If he takes any, either of the sideboard cards, Luke knows what he's playing against. Yeah. Um, if he takes the porcelain, he might not have a threat. Yeah. Well, porcelain legionnaire is also very good against Jude. Yep. Yeah. Because of the first strike, he won't get the Jude counters. Um, if I was Isaac here, I'd just be going for the the time play and take the porcelain. I think. Yeah, I agree. 
Um, you, you can't afford to do anything else, I don't think. Yeah, it's gone. Untap. It's funny that that's the best two drop in my deck, and yeah. it's not even red. <laughs> that card's so sweet. Alright, so I've played Looting here, controversially. I'm trying to find a one drop dude, and I do. I find the figure of destiny. Pretty lucky. But I have you to discard have... two good spells here. Yeah, you didn't hit a land or anything. Yeah, so I'm down in cards from this play. It's alright. You, you need a threat more than anything right now. Yeah, I've drawn a land and figure of destiny. Um, if you're discarding hate, it's going to show to Isaac what he can go for, probably. Yes, true. So I'm thinking... I got my Smelt and Ferromacabre. I'm thinking of discarding my two cyborg cards. Uh, <laughs> I, I'd say you need to keep the Ferromacabre in this situation. Just because, like, right now, the only way you're losing is if he has a straight-up strategy that kills you. Or he can, I, if, if he flashes you, that's probably, like, your number one way to lose this game. Yeah, right? he's shown me that he's kept a one-lander, which alarm bells is flash. That's what... Yeah. Um, so I should keep the Ferromacabre. Thinking, thinking. I wonder. I often wonder. Did you draw? Where the judge would call me on slow play in these late matches. Whatever. <laughs> yeah. Heaps of time. Yeah. Judge be off. Judging somewhere else. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, I probably would have called her about now. <laughs> oh, I would have called it ten seconds ago, I reckon. So I go for smelt and fairy macabre. Interesting. Yeah, interesting. Yeah. Um, yeah. You you kept threats. I kept figure, clamp, land. So he's got another dude for his GA. Still no land. Okay. I've drawn Magus the Moon, which is pretty sweet. Yeah, that's literally the best thing you could have drawn. So I think. bash in, carry and feed a card block. Ha uh ha. -huh. I want to slam the Magus now. So Isaac needs land for Jude. That's what he needs, and he's drawn it. Yeah, pleated Delta. That just taps for red. Yeah, down comes Jude, and I haven't got my smelt. <laughs> uh, Isaac can be feeling pretty good right now. <laughs> yeah, and I've drawn Mox Ruby. He he knows he discarded his smelt. Yeah. Yeah. Flipped it. <laughs> yeah. So in hindsight, or like not even in hindsight. I made the wrong play by burning my looting there early. I should have just waited till I drew a bunch of lands or known what answer I needed to have in my hand and then discarded the other answers. Yeah. So, I'm bashing with just the figure because I want to keep the moon back to put a clamp on it in case I don't draw the answer to the, the Jade off these two cards. Nom nom, two lands, fuck. Bad spot. Yeah. So. Faith and definitely would have been better later. Yeah. And now I'm drawing lands. I mean, I can still flash it back, but it's. A bit you're not, you're not in the end. worst spot. Like, you got heaps of cards to his two lands. Yeah. Um, But he's in a situation where he can just draw the win yeah. easily. So he's drawing his third land, Scalding Tarn. Yep. He's Long just hitting all his lands. I block, force him to have to have the second creature. Otherwise, he just uses his two counters to kill my Magus anyway. If he has a creature, you're probably going to be mm. tough to recover. So I drew Frostling and something else. Bet you wish you'd try that. <laughs> I think for now, I'm just going to can the hand cams. You just can't see anything. Uh, actually, you guys in the comments, say if you like the hand cams or not, because right now they're pretty useless. Uh, so I flash back the looting, digging further. Do I draw the answer? I've still got overload in my deck and just burn, more burn to kill these creatures. Has to be you don't have speed any though. other two to play creatures that kill it? No, no. I, don't, I don't have Torch Fiend or that Tor Torch the, new really one, good. the Reckless Reveler from Born of the Gods. I've got Ram Gang, so I've got a clock here. He can't kill it with his Jide. Yeah. So I gotta hope he doesn't go dude equip. That's what has to happen. So as it's got Flash, Lotus Cobra, so he has got the Cobra so too. Cobra's going to own you. Yeah, he's... Unless he plays it and doesn't equip, which means your Frostling's really good. 
Yeah. Maybe that was a reason to play Frostling there. Oh, no. Well, that if I have Frostling, it's on board. Yeah, and he, he just, just kills, kills it yeah. with Jude. Yeah. That's what I mean by sorcery speed not being so great. Like, I guess it's different here, yeah. Okay, he goes for the Cobra. He's found a tropical island, so he needs the blue for Flash. Has he got a target yet? Say it again. Has he got anything for Flash yet? No. I oh, he's got a cavalry rector. Okay, so he's in a very good spot now. Unless he, he oh, can no, actually no, just combo you off. The cavalry rector was from game one. Sorry. Okay. Yeah. I think you would have just been dead there if you had a cavalry rector. Yeah. I've drawn another mountain. I've got. Okay, so I've got Blood Knight in hand. So if I if I can get the counters off the Jude, then I can play a first striker and lock him out from getting more counters. But dealing with getting the counters off is another thing. So I could suit up the Ram Gang, bash in, try and bait him into using the counters. We could play the Blood Knight and equip. Uh, it's like sort of a bait. Oh, well, he just kills it with the Jude. And then he has no counters. And then you cast your frost lane. If I equip, he'll only have to remove one counter. He'll let you draw two cards, you reckon? If he if it means he gets more counters by attacking, yes. I've got Flame Slash in hand now. Well I can Frostling or Flame Slash this Lotus Cobra. I'm gonna use Frostling, no doubt. Because Yeah. Yeah. Because Flame Slash will still kill the creature he equips, even if the Jedi's only got one counter on it. So here Isaac's pre wishing he equips the the Jedi to the Cobra. And this is where I was saying how Sorcery Speed rules so bad. Yeah. Because next turn, or Sorcery Speed burn. Because next turn he'll be able to equip, and then Flame Slash will be useless. Do so, you have a path? Yes, path to exile. Okay, so yeah. there goes my clock again. Yeah, Isaac's definitely stabilizing now. I've definitely got basics left in my deck from that path. <laughs> <laughs> this could be what the most basic lands played in any list. <laughs> yeah, I, I would guarantee. 23. Uh, maybe some white weenie variants. Probably not. My current white weenie list has 22 lands. Only 22 lands? No way. 22, 22 planes. No wasteland, no strip mine. Oh, it's got Iganjo Castle. Okay, so I go to clamp the, uh, the Blood Knight, like we were discussing, and he kills it in response. Yeah. So now the counters are off the Jedi, so my Flame Slash is live for his next creature. But not if that Rebel Luck that he's just drawn hits the table, then you have way too many dudes for me to kill. So, yeah, I'm flooded out on lands. I burnt that Faithless looting way too early. So, Eternal Witness, almost as bad. It gets back the land so we can get closer yep. to Revelock. He's getting up there. He's, yeah, Isaac he, came back. He kept a shaky hand and then just Jidays yep. wrecked me. And some poor decisions on my part, too. Uh, I'd say I was discarding the smell lost you the game. Yeah. Well, I, I should... Or, I just, like, I don't know if you've lost, but, uh... I just shouldn't have cast the Faithless looting. Yeah, you could have easily just held it. Just held back, yeah. The only way I could lose is if I flooded on lands. So. Yeah, imagine if two of these lands were in the bin. <laughs> exactly, yeah. Like, and the smelt had to kill the Jedi, or the... The smelt and the pheromone and carbs down your hand. Yeah. Alright. So, I really want a dude that I can clamp here. I've got... So, question, do I clamp that or not? I think you do. Yeah. Um, yeah, Isaac's getting to the point where it's not going to be relevant that you can shock something every turn. It's more important that you apply some decent pressure to the board or hit a Blood Moon effect whilst you still can. Yeah, I've already lost one of the Blood Moon effects, but yeah, you're right. You right. also have heaps of mana up, so you can just chain. Yeah, chain it through. Well, I bought it out a lot of my one drops, which were lots of my one toughness creatures yep. so I won't be able to chain as frequently yeah I chose not to clamp it yeah. because I figured if he hasn't got removal I can just you know kill every duty plays before the genie gets counters yeah 
In a in a normal creature matchup, that'd be correct, I think. But uh, I think Isaac's got a heaps of persist guys. Heap yeah, of he's got double things. That's the only one I think. Uh, Murder Shred Cap. Uh, he doesn't play it anymore. He's cut it. Really? Yeah. He kept sideboarding it out against Zoo. Mm. I believe. So Flash. He's got Flash and Revelark here. He cracked his fetch, interestingly enough. Like, if he wanted to f bring in the Lotus Cobra, he could have used the fetch land to get more mana. If you want to return it, man. Yeah. Does he bring back the Cobra? No. Witness and Cobra. Okay, so he shouldn't have even played the Blue Delta. Yeah, he would have had two more mana. Yeah, and he played it last turn. Okay, so yeah, yeah. he would have had one more mana. Yeah, the foils look pretty cool <laughs> in that reflection. Free path. <laughs> yeah. We gotta fetch anyway. I suppose yeah. we get heaps of mana. Yeah, and I guess the witness could just get back a land, but then he can't path the live man. So I'm dead here. Yeah, you're just way out. Yeah. This is, he's completely stabilized, and you've got no juice to it now. Yeah. Hitting, sitting on air. I guess hypothetically I could draw one toughness dude and clamp out of it. But Isaac's thinking about lands. Are you got a natural out of you? You reckon? Um, no, he's just going to GD me to death. Yeah. You can get a Woodfall Primus and just kill your Skull Clamp. I don't think you have many answers for it. Natural order's in his deck. He hasn't got it in his hand. Oh. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> shuffle, shuffle. Path. Yep. So, damn it. Heap small mountains. Yeah. <laughs> I generally run out on the second one. Of basics. Yeah, I only have two, and generally I fetch one in long games. Yep. Um, generally with plans. Yep. I've drawn another mountain. Awesome. Like... So just go on. Yeah, I'm dead. I, I should play the mountain here so I can theoretically chain more with uh, Clamp, but anything I try and equip is just going to get killed by Jude. Yep. Yeah, Jude is the creature mirror king. So lots of people are lost to it. <laughs> yeah. It's not that good against Zoo, like comparatively to like White Winnie or Mono Red. Because you Just because two threes don't die to Jude. Yeah, so you have a whole turn to use sorcery speed removal on the Jude. You get in this situation where you're just swinging just trading blows at each other. Yeah. So he can use the Jude to kill his own Lotus Cobra, so the Pattern of Rebirth triggers. Uh, for those who are unfamiliar with Pattern of Rebirth, basically you get to just tooth a nail for a guy. Yeah, just put a creature into play. Yeah, put a creature into play from your uh, deck. He gets Worm Call Engine, very hard for my deck to deal with. I think I only have Icy Manipulator, and that's it. Yeah. Actually, I could do... Uh, I've boarded out my Burning Wish, so I can't get Pulverize. And I haven't boarded it in Shattering Spree, which would have been alright. I'm so dead. Yeah, you got you got no way out. Scoop, scoop, scoop. No, uh, maybe you can Faithless Loot in. Or do you already do I've that? I've already done it. Okay. I did it ages ago. I think, yeah, I lost this game because I burnt that Faithless Looting early. Otherwise I would have been okay. Yeah? Yep. Yeah. I would have clamped the the Grimlar Manta. Okay, yeah, I could have done that as well. Um, yeah. That's close though. Yeah, that that's iffy. Yeah. Um, Isaac's deck doesn't play much removal. It's a bit unlucky that he had it. The path. Yeah, the path. Yeah. Um, so that's another reason to keep the Grimlar Manta, really. Yeah. He's got abrupt decay as well. I think that's like his only other piece of removal. Yeah. Oh no, Source of Flash is. Well. Okay, so he's got like three cards 
and like occasionally you can play it again. Yeah. Hey guys, I have to apologize. Uh, my recording just stuffed up, so I've lost the last two or three games. Isaac goes on to win 3 1, embarrassingly, even though it seems like a pretty good matchup. Uh, yeah, that's it. Uh, just, day hasn't gone very well. Australia lost to the Netherlands, although we did pretty well. And then my recording stuffed up, and I've been home sick because I got hit by a car. Anyway, uh, I'll see you next round. Hopefully my recording goes better in the future. <laughs> <laughs>